So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video we'll cover the best video editing monitors. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. A properly calibrated, detailed, and accurate monitor is key to a good edit, and they ensure that you see all of the fine details in your footage so you can make the proper adjustments to create a compelling video. But not every monitor is apt for the job or capable of handling footage from today's flagship cameras. In addition, many don't offer the accuracy or reliability necessary for enormous attention to detail required to color grade footage. So you'll want a monitor ready to tackle these difficulties at hand and do the job well. Thankfully, a dedicated video editing monitor will happily take the lead and it's correctly tuned for the demands of post-processing. But the market for potential video monitors is quite vast and there's many factors to consider when looking at monitors dedicated to editing videos. With that, we've compiled a list of the best video editing monitors on the present market and we've also created a brief guide on the relevant factors to consider beforehand if you're looking into a monitor for editing videos, which you can find in the pinned comment down below. Coming in number five, ISO's CG319X. ISO's CG319X is an all-out uncomprising monitor that delivers class-leading specifications and power. This 32-inch 4K DCI monitor features a wide-angle 10-bit IPS panel covering 100% sRGB, 99% Adobe RGB, and 98% DCI-P3 gamuts. It also houses a built-in sensor that swings onto the display to calibrate it automatically, eliminating the need for third-party calibration tools. Yet it also debuts as the first monitor with AI functionality, letting the monitor shift its color or brightness based on the ambient temperature in real time to improve accuracy. Together, you get a near flawless color reproduction in only three minutes after the display is stabilized. Other bonuses include safe area marker, aspect marker, 4K zoom, gamut warning, luminance warning, a light shielding hood, a built-in carrying handle, and a five-year warranty. Overall, while demanding at its price, ISO's CG319X brings uncomprising performance from a long-standing leader in this space, and it's currently the benchmark of the industry. Coming in number four, Acer's Predator XB273K. Acer's Predator XB273K is quite a powerhouse. This 27-inch 4K monitor features a wide-angle IPS panel with a DCI-P3 coverage of 90% and a certified Delta E less than 1. It also offers NVIDIA G-Sync certification, giving it blazing 120Hz refresh speeds. You can also overclock the display to 144Hz, perfect for gaming without any artifacts, and it brings HDR400 support, the latest substandard to refine HDR10. Other bonuses include a 3-year warranty and a monitor shade hood. Overall, Acer's Predator XB273K is an excellent monitor for those wanting to edit videos and occasionally game. Coming in number three, Dell's U32 19Q. Dell's U32 19Q is the company's latest monitor and an excellent one at that. This 32-inch 4K monitor features a wide-angle 8-bit IPS panel with an anti-glare finish and 99% sRGB or Rec. 709 coverage and 95% DCI-P3 coverage. And it comes factory calibrated to certify its accuracy to a Delta E less than 2. Yet it brings HDR 400 support for true-to-life HDR image reproduction, and it does so with TUV certification, ensuring it remains flicker-free and easy on the eyes during extended sessions. Other bonuses include 90 degree rotation, a built in KVM switch, and a three year warranty. Overall, Dell's U3219Q offers excellent color and a true HDR experience at 4K resolution. Coming in number two, ViewSonics VP2785. ViewSonics VP2785 offers high end accuracy to meet demanding professionals without a ridiculous price tag in the process. This 27 inch 4K monitor features a wide angle 10 bit IPS panel with an anti glare finish and 100% Adobe RGB and 96% DCI P3 coverage. And it comes pre calibrated to certify its accuracy to a Delta E less than 2. Thus, it delivers incredible color accuracy and a wide gamut of 4.3. 
three nine trillion colors ready to showcase even the slightest shades or variations yet it also provides excellent color uniformity across the screen to boot perfect for color critical scenes and viewsonic also offers an optional hardware calibration kit letting you calibrate the device as needed over time other bonuses include 90 degree rotation hdr 10 support a built-in kvm switch ambient light sensors and a three-year warranty Overall, ViewSonic's VP2785 is a solid option if color accuracy and budget are forefront decision points. Coming in at number one, BenQ's PD3200U. BenQ's PD3200U is technically a business monitor, but one that doubles as a high quality budget option for most videographers. This 32 inch 4K monitor features a wide angle 10 bit IPS panel with a matte finish and 100% Rec 709 and sRGB coverage. And it comes pre calibrated from the factory to certify its accuracy to a Delta E less than three. BenQ also has added their eye care technology to reduce eye strain by eliminating blue light, screen flicker, and optimizing the brightness to the ambient lighting. Other bonuses include 90 degree rotation, a darkroom mode, the dual view mode, an SD card reader, a built-in KVM switch, and a three-year warranty. Overall, BenQ's PD3200U offers an excellent balance between price and features, and it's a solid budget-friendly option that'll likely suit the needs of most. So there you have it, my friends. There's our list of the best video editing monitors. For more information, check out our website, photographypx.com. You can also look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and I'll take you right to the full post. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>